Hey, hey guys, it's it's uh, David Blaine here with another hot tutorial. So for this, you need to have seen the previous uh, uh, video, the previous video where I, I showed the performance. And you're gonna need a couple things for this prediction. You're gonna need uh, you're gonna need two shoes. You're gonna need two shoes, and uh, you're also gonna need uh, some playing cards. And you're also, I feel like a like a homeless man here with all my stuff. Um, now you just need two uh, predictions. You just need two predictions here, the four of clubs and the five of spades, and those go inside of your shoes, and that's the end of it. However, if you want to add an extra layer of deception here, you could uh, make four billets here. So in this case, uh, you're going to have the four of clubs that goes in the left shoe, the five of spades prediction, which goes in the right shoe, and then uh, you could place these in, uh, you could also place these. Now, usually shoes have a little bit of a, they have a, a like an underside here, right? They have an underside, so then you, what you've created is like a, um, a kind of a, like a double double compartment here, and this goes underneath the sole of the shoe here. You see what happened? Yeah, that's that's the hot method here. That's only if you want to catch them uh, with that that hot um, hot no no kind. Um, you're not right. I'm right. So that's the preparation H for this. You put one prediction in one shoe, and then the other prediction in the other shoe. And that's, uh, oh boy, I think that's the, that's the uh, trick here. So now you need the setup on the deck. Once you have your shoe ready, you need the setup on the deck. So that's easy. There's no setup on the deck. Um, that's, that's the, tr you have the spectator mix up the cards, right? So they mix them up just like this. They shuffle the cards however they want. And then you go, oh, uh, you know what? For this, we don't need the jokers. Uh, we don't need the jokers here. So what am I doing? While I'm looking for the jokers, that's right. I'm taking out and calling the cards that match the predictions. The five and the four are being called as I'm taking out the joker. So I find whichever card first here. In this case, it could be the five. It could be the four. It doesn't matter. But I'm taking out, oh, there's the four. Guess where it's going? Right over here. And there's a five. It's going over here. As I go, oh, see, look, let me just take out the jokers here because we don't need them. We don't need the jokers. And now you're ready, you're ready for this hot trick. You're ready. Because uh, what you're gonna do is a little bit of a little bit of an action here, an overhand shuffle milking action. I know you could look at um, uh, uh, milking on YouTube. That's a category if you want to check check it out. But here you're doing a milk shuffle and you're gonna do it twice. So the milk shuffle, for those of you that don't know, is you're gonna squeeze the back card here and the front card as you do an overhand shuffle. What that's gonna do. You see, it's gonna leave that back card right over there. It's gonna leave it right behind so that when you ask them to call stop, it doesn't matter because you turn this face down at the table, you have the first card on top. You see that? Here, you do the same thing again. They call stop, you're doing the milk shuffle. One more time, you're squeezing the back card and you're squeezing the front card. And now guess what? That card's in the back as well. Sorry, that's not it, it's this one right here. That card's in the back, so they call stop. And now you have pretty much the trick all said and done. You have the, the four of clubs and the five of spades. So depending on whichever pile they point to, you say, look, that's gonna be the card you choose. I don't want you to think that this is one of these ambiguous, non-binary decisions. You are assertive of your gender. So they pick whichever pile they want. In this case, let's say they pick the four of clubs. You go, that's phenomenal. You will take out the respected prediction. You would go, look, in my shoe, I put a prediction down, ha ha. It's the four of clubs. How did you, how did I know that? That's crazy. And that's the end of the trick. Now, of course, if they pick the five of spades pile, you wouldn't take the four of clubs because that'd be stupid. So you'd show this shoe and you'd say, look, there's a prediction in my shoe. I wrote it before we started. It's the five of spades. And then if you want, again, the optional twist here is if they call attention to the other shoe, what you do is uh, you do the little bit of a shoe load here. So you notice in performance, I just reached inside the shoe and I took it out. I didn't take the shoe out. What I'm doing is that I'm reaching in underneath the sole here to the little secret compartment. You see underneath the, underneath this little flap, I'm just reaching in under there, pulling out a prediction and going, oh, you busted me. Yeah, you're right. There are two predictions, but this one says cunt. You are a cunt. So you, you see the added the added little bonus there. They, they don't see it coming. So all you have to do 
It's just reach in there and you have a, a nice little prediction. You could do anytime, anywhere, as long as you have uh, this nice little setup in your shoe that you could keep in your shoe all day. And then at the end of performing, you could take one of these out and go smell it. Smell it. Smells like feet. Um, that's the trick. Uh, that's, the, that's the hot trick. Ah, oh boy. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to hope that you guys uh, do all the things that people do when it comes to tricks, right? Because that was a hot one. That was a pretty hot one, I think. I would consider that, right, guys? That's a... Oh, boy. Uh, so I'm going to go figure out different ways to uh, ingest an Ikea light bulb and uh, not be considered homophobic. Oh, <laughs> 